The Bryan College Station area has been dealing with strong storms this evening, including at least one cell with strong rotation. KPRC 2's Brandon Walker has been monitoring conditions there throughout the afternoon and the evening. Brandon, you're joining us live right now. What have you experienced over the last few hours? Yeah, well, Daniela, the streets here in Bryan are slick. That storm system, swift, but overall, the damage not significant as far as we're talking about the Bryan College Station area. We want to take a live look at State Highway 21 traveling eastbound. There are reports here in the Brazos Valley of a couple hundred power outages, but no reports of significant damage, and that's big because the system, which moved quickly across the Brazos Valley, pounded points west, especially near Round Rock where a camera was rolling on live TV, mind you, as a twister appeared. A tornado on the ground right now Moving in Round over Rock. I-35. And 45. Okay. And my goodness, video tall. from Round Rock from evening Round Rock. rush Our hour OC moving camera. over I-35 where it meets I-45. You see a tornado there on the ground. This was broadcast this live evening, minutes before 6 p.m. on the NBC on affiliated flyovers. station They're in Austin. We've got more you video to show you now as we zoom in closer to the ground at the uh, Kalahari Resort in Round Rock. Cell phone video from a visitor there at the resort shows the damage there. Wind damage primarily pushing over tables and chairs, and it just keeps coming. There is this video. Imagine this, guys. You're looking out of the window of your hotel room only to see a twister coming. That's what happened to this man who recorded this video. Brian Munn is his name. He sent us video of what he saw. Others saw it, too, including employees of a Home Depot in Round Rock who say all they could do is hope for the best. Like you could see a tornado starting to form right in the parking lot. Like it was just slowly just coming up like that. You could actually see it because of the rain and stuff. And like it was moving cars, it was tipping over trees and all of that. My goodness, and from Round Rock to Jacksboro, some 220 miles north, we're getting reports tonight of some 60 to 80 homes damaged. One report there from the area showing about four people having to be rescued from homes, but no significant injuries as far as that's concerned, so good news there. Also, the town's hospital, two schools sustained heavy damage, but back here live on State Highway 21 as we continue our travels here in the Bryan College Station area, that system moved quickly through here during the 8 o'clock hour just before 9 o'clock. Significant wind, significant rain, but not significant damage as we saw in the Round Rock area and other points of North Texas. The full extent of the damage it, uh, means that it's being carried out as the system continues to move across Texas, but the word here in Bryan College Station is to continue to be safe. Stay inside if you can because they're expecting the system and the weather to be bad throughout the night. Keith and Daniela, back to you in Houston. My good advice indeed, Brandon. Thank you. You guys stay safe there in Bryan College Station. Here closer to home in Harris County, emergency officials are monitoring the situation overnight. Yeah, members of the Office of Emergency Management and Harris County Flood Control are at the OEM offices right now. So let's get right to Michael Lapardi joining us live this evening to continue our team coverage with a look at the preparations happening. Hey, Michael. Daniela and Keith, uh, we ha just got some rain coming through in the uh, last 10 minutes or so. And behind me, you can see the, the roads are a little bit wet from the on and off showers that we've had throughout the evening, but no major problems that we're aware of so far, though the county says they will be watching for the possibility of flooding. Officials with the Harris County Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Management are among those keeping a close eye on the weather. We've decided that we're going to be here overnight with a small team from our staff plus the Harris County Flood Control District, and we'll be monitoring to see if there are any impacts from the storm. Public Information Officer Brian Murray says one of the concerns is the possibility of some flooded roads. We just tell people, don't drive through flooded roadways. You know, turn around, don't drown. Very simple advice, but it does save a lot of heartache later on. Houston police shared these photos on Twitter earlier tonight saying its marine unit has equipment pre-staged and ready to deploy should high water rescues be necessary. The message from the county tonight? Know what the weather forecast looks like. Know what the weather conditions around you are. Make sure you've got good sources of information. And if you do get warnings and watches, make sure that you pay attention to those and, and you know, um, do what you're asked to do to stay safe. 
And while severe weather during the dark overnight hours can come with some challenges, the county also pointed out that there are generally fewer people on the roads during those hours. But either way, as you heard uh, the public information officer mention there, they'll be keeping an eye on things through the overnight. Reporting live in West Houston, Michael Lopardi, KPRC 2 News. All right, Michael, thank you. And we invite you all to stick with KPRC 2 and our web team at Click 2 Houston to monitor the flood gauges in your neighborhood and to track potential flooding with our flood tracker. Frank and his team have partnered with the Harris County Flood Control District to put this vital information at your fingertips. You can find it at click2houston.com slash flood tracker. In Northeast Harris County, the Cy Fair Fire Department is getting ready for potential rescues. And it's not an unfamiliar situation for them. They have seen waters rise quickly during past rain events. So let's get right to Bill Spencer. He's in Northwest Harris County as rescuers prepare there for what's to come. Bill? Danielle and Keith, heavy-duty water rescue boats like this one, the key piece of equipment that Cy Fair firefighters will be working with tonight, and they've stocked these boats full of life-saving equipment like this life preserver right here, meant to help those people who may be stuck in their cars on the roadways or those people who may be trapped in their homes by high waters. At Cy Fair Fire Station number three, firefighters are not prepping for fire tonight. Instead, they're gearing up for a long evening of water rescues, should the heavy weather we're expecting bring dangerous floodwaters to the area, washing out roads, trapping people in their homes. Uh, right now, it's, it appears to be that our most concerns are going to be the high winds, possibly some hail, and uh, some flash flooding, uh, maybe right now in the area of two to four inches of water. All told, Cy Fair is 75 firefighters on standby tonight to make rescues, and they have a rescue fleet of six evacuation crew boats, two swift water rescue boats, and three high water, high profile vehicles specifically designed to drive through dangerous flood water. Since I had to come um, to the store, get food, I think it's my most fear that we can get out from the, from the house since I have four children. At the very same time, Mara Bijil of Katy is out stocking up on last minute foods and drinks to take care of her four children just in case their neighborhood, their home, should flood. Mara remembers how her house flooded during Hurricane Allison. She remembers the fear she felt as the water rose higher and higher and the power was knocked out completely. Well, the water got in the house and I had to uh, travel to Dallas. We uh, get up all things to Dallas and yeah, that night. So since you know that happened over here, just get ready. Good advice from Mara. She says, get ready. That is what sci fire firefighters are doing right now. They have got these boats and their other rescue vehicles staged all over the area just so they can be ready to go at a moment's notice. Reporting live at sci fair Fire Station number three, Bill Spencer, KPRC 2 News. It's great to have all that ready, Bill. Thank you. And we want to let you know that some school districts in our area have alerted us to changes due to the severe weather. So the following districts you see on your screen here will start tomorrow two hours late. That's Conroe ISD, Montgomery, Shepherd, Living ISD, Goodrich, and Cold Spring Oakhurst ISD. 